Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of inequalities, specifically why and when we reverse the inequality symbols, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's just take a basic inequality or equation that we might see. So let's take negative 3x is greater than, oh, let's just take 12. So you might be asked to you know, solve for the solution set for x. And you might think, oh, that's pretty simple. I just need to divide both sides by negative 3, which is correct. But a strange thing happens when you multiply and divide by negative numbers. Let's see what happens, and then we'll come back and try to figure this out. So let's start with a basic inequality. 5 is greater than 1. All right, that's pretty simple, and we agree with that. So 5 is greater than 1 is very true and very basic. I'm going to first multiply both sides. So I'm going to multiply both sides because I want to keep a balanced equation by, let's say, negative 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 2. And look at what happens. So ne negative 2 times 5, well, 2 times 5 is 10. So a positive negative gets you a negative. And then we've got a 1 times 2 is 2, so positive and negative, so negative 2. So it looks like negative 10 is now greater than negative 2, and that's actually not correct. Take a look at a number line here. So let's say we've got a number line. We're in the negative, so let's put 0 right there. So the first number I'm going to get is actually negative 2. Negative 10 comes all the way over here. Remember, greater than means farther to the right. So greater than goes this way, less than goes this way. So just by multiplying both of these numbers, 5 and 1, by a negative number, I actually made my inequality not true. So when we multiply by negative numbers, we also need to do something else at the same time. We also need to take this inequality and we need to reverse it or flip it. So whenever we multiply both sides of an inequality by a negative number, we need to reverse it. So negative 10 is now less than negative 2 because when it's dealing with an inequality, that negative really matters, and it actually has to be flipped in order to maintain its validity. But that is our, our rule for multiplying what about when we divide, because that's what we're doing up here. So multiply numbers, you need to reverse when negative. What about when we need to go ahead and divide because we need to do that negative 3. Well, let's see. Uh, let's start with another inequality just like we did up here. right? So let's start with um, negative... Let's just, let's just do negative 15. Right? Is going to be less than negative 5. We'll keep it simple. Right? So negative 15, let's make sure we see that and we understand that. There's my 0. There's my negative 5. There's my negative 15. All right, so negative 15 is less than negative 5. It's farther away from 0. So let's just divide both of these. I just want to divide both by negative 1. So really all we're going to do is we're just going to flip our, um, our positive to negative, negative to positive. So negative 15 divided by 1 is going to be 15, right? And so 5 divided by negative 5 divided by negative 1 is going to be just 5, because a negative and a negative is going to be a positive. So I just basically turn both of these negatives into a positive. But look what we have here. 15 is definitely not going to be less than 5. 15 is greater than 5. So we also need to, when we divide, we also need to reverse the inequality when we're dividing by negative. So let's see what we have here. So negative 3 minus negative 3 is going to be x. So 12 minus uh, divided by negative 3 is going to be negative 4. But we need to go ahead and flip that inequality because we ended up dividing both sides by negative, and that would be our solution.